Matt, do you guys have a whitelist? Sites that never harm these sites, always let them do well. That's a good question. So when you have an algorithm, uh, you do your very best to make sure that it works. Uh, if you f there are many, many algorithms in Google, right? That's like saying, is a car a machine? Well, a car is composed of a bunch of different machines. So if you take some individual algorithms within Google, you might have something where you'll have an exception list, where you say, this algorithm is not perfect. Let's see what we can do until we can fix this algorithm up the next way. What I think most people talk about is, is there some sort of overriding, you are golden, you can never be touched, either philosophy or list. And, and to the best of my knowledge, there's nothing like that. Like a query comes in, it doesn't get touched by people, a bunch of like hundreds of machines all process it. And in under a couple hundred milliseconds, what you get back is what we think are the best 10 results. So there's no overall, let's call it the Wikipedia list. There's no overall, this site should always be fine for everything. But if you have a particular signal that you implement and you think this signal is working well to deal with 99% of the sites out there, but wow, it's really hurting this other site for completely unrelated reasons, then let's accept them from that type of thing. Well, and, and I think if you were in charge of Google, like suppose we all got hit by a bus and you guys had to come into the Googleplex and run the, the search engine yourselves, right? After you ate all the free food, the next thing you would do is you'd think about what is the philosophy? How do we make it work? And I think the right instinct is to try to do as much as you can algorithmically. It's the same thing as spam. You try to solve hidden text or hack sites algorithmically, and then the stuff that you can't catch, you're willing to take manual action on to remove because that's abuse, it's a bad user experience. And then you use that data to try to do the next round so it's completely algorithmic, okay. or it's algorithmic for more languages. And I think that's the philosophy that like almost anybody would come to. You want to be as scalable as you can. So that's that. yes. I think that's a yes. <laughs> but I remember your question. But, I talked for but a very going long time. forward, then we try to improve the algorithm so that when we update the signal, that goes. And it sounds like Saucy, you do the so, same. Yeah, I would want to just like add one point to that. Um, if you want to get technical, it's, this is like a, a, a advanced uh, conference. I'll just like tell you. Every algorithm we call what is called a precision and recall. How precisely an algorithm does its job and to what extent it is job. So if like out of 100 sites, if you have like 50 sites are bad, is the algorithm able to catch all the 50 sites? That is the recall. Just like go on uh, uh, any search engines, like look for precision recall of algorithms. None of the algorithms, as Matt said, has like 100% precision and 100% recall. So that is why we need all these uh, lists override. But the interesting part is anytime we have these static overrides, we will make sure that the next iteration of the algorithm actually handles these lists. So these lists are constantly evolving. It's not like abc.com or like any specific site.com is always <coughs> going to be on the, the whitelist or always going to be on the blacklist. It just like evolves basically. Yeah. Because we do have a manual slash algorithmic approach to that. Yeah, and it's also important to realize that there are many, many algorithms, maybe the majority of the algorithms, that do, don't have any exception mm -hmm. log. So for example, Panda, we don't have a way, there is no way right now to do any sort of manual exception. No, no, I, I read the cult of Mac. You accepted things for them. No. <laughs> no, I read it, and I mean, you know, I trust them more than some spammy SEO blogs, so there you are. <laughs>